Being a freelancer is a great way of making some extra money, but make sure you know these three things which can otherwise cause you a lot of pain. And I'm telling this specifically for beginners like students or someone who's just getting into freelancing, getting their first few clients. So here we go. First thing you need to keep in mind is don't say yes to every request you get. When you first start reaching out to clients or applying for freelance jobs, you'll get a bunch of responses depending on your niche. It's important that you don't say yes to any request you get. And in some cases, you may not get any response quickly but it's very important to not get into your desperation and say yes to anything because in the beginning companies and whoever is hiring freelancers will take advantage of your skill let me tell you a short story of what happened to me the year was like 2016 or 2017 i was a kid in college trying to make some extra money on the side so i applied for a part-time internship and i got it i was very happy and i started working with them for about a few months and when it came time to pay me guess what they just disappeared they gave me a bunch of reasons like this number is not reachable this and that like they made up some excuses and they took my work without paying me and that was my first ever freelancing gig imagine my devastation because i didn't check the company i didn't check what they were up to i was just happy to get my first gig and i said yes to them and i ended up wasting a little bit of my time over two months this is getting even more common nowadays because everyone has high speed internet when i was doing that no one had super fast internet so the competition was a little bit less so here's what i suggest write down your terms for whatever job you're applying like whatever freelance service you're offering and get that client's agreement on it via email that way you will have a copy or evidence of them agreeing to your terms that you will do this work but you will not do anything else it's totally fine after all it's a transaction they can have some demands from you so you can also put some demands to them this will help because later on after a few months that you started they may ask you to do something completely different so you can just bring up this contract and say hey this is not what we agreed to at that point you can renegotiate but you will have have some proof to say that's not why you started so be intentional with who you're saying yes to and define your terms second thing to keep in mind is never have just one client it's easy and comfortable to think of freelancing as a stable job you know you'll just have one high paying client and you'll just work for them and that'll be it but that may not be a good idea because many a times these clients can just ditch you it has happened to me many times they'll just stop responding and won't give you any more work like they'll be completely unreachable and most of the freelance work is remote right you will never see them face to face so if you get ghosted there is nothing much you can do but if you have multiple clients at least you will not be relying on a single source of income and it's pretty common among freelancers to have multiple projects going on at the same time many clients don't care unless they have mentioned in their contract that you have to exclusively work with them in that case it won't be a problem because their contract will suggest that they will give you work have at least two maybe three if you can manage it and the third and final tip do not undersell yourself just to get some work I say these because I have done all these mistakes myself and now I realize how wrong I was. I drastically reduced my prices for some clients just so they can give me work. If you show desperation, they will absolutely take advantage of that. Now I realize that when you're starting out, you won't have much leverage, so it may take some time to get clients and let me warn you, some clients will try to kind of threaten you or, you know, scare you that you will never get any work and we have many options. And again, that is true. There are a lot of desperate people out there trying to make a buck and they're ready to work crazy hours to get paid in peanuts. I'm asking you not to do that because now that I've done this for a few years, now that I get paid exponentially more for very simple work, I'm telling you maintain your price and deliver quality. You will eventually find high paying clients. Because again, I speak from experience, good companies will not try to cheat you like this. They will not underpay you. They'll compensate you fairly for the tasks that you said you will do and overall it'll be a good professional experience. But beginners usually may not get such good clients immediately. I certainly didn't for many years, so I'm telling you, this is what you need to watch out for. So to summarize, don't say yes to any work they give. Have clear and preset boundaries to what you will and will not do. Don't rely on a single client for a long time, have multiple of them. And finally, don't undersell yourself just to get a client. It's better you not have some work for a month or two and find a good client than work for a shitty one for three months. Trust me, that little bit of money you get by underselling yourself is not gonna be worth it because you will be overworked to hell. I hope this insights helped you if you're looking to get into freelancing just remember building a quality freelancing experience will take some time it took me some years so be patient do quality work and don't compromise you'll be fine